All right, let's look at um, the distillation and let's see if we can actually map one out on, well we can, let's see how we do it. Mapping out a distillation, that's making sure I stay within your field of view. Yeah, let's map one out on a phase diagram. And um, not any phase diagram, but a boiling point, so that would be temperature. Oops, boiling point versus composition. I usually choose A. And on a boiling point diagram, kind of phase diagram, um, we the two points that you want to put on first are the boiling points of the two liquids. So this will be, um, well, let's do, <coughs> sorry, let's do um, an ideal solution first of two liquids. Here is the boiling point Tb of, that would be of B, right? And this one, since this is mole fraction of A at 1, this is your boiling point of, of A. Sometimes I put the star just to say that's boiling point of pure B, boiling point of pure A. And if you want me to be sure that I know what you mean, then you can always write it out. So don't draw a straight line. <laughs> Resist that temptation. Instead, what we have is, uh, of course, the lines converge, but a little bit opening like that, just like that. So this is, because this is temperature and increasing as I go up, then at low temperature I have the liquid phase, and at high temperature I have the vapor phase, and I have a liquid plus vapor in the middle, and I'm just going to label that this way. Because I want to map out a distillation, I don't want this to get too crowded on the inside. So let's um, say we are asked to illustrate the path of a distillation of a real solution of liquids A and B, where B is the more volatile, and they are miscible in all proportions and behave ideally. Label all the phases and again illustrate the path. And uh, to finish that thought, illustrate the path of the distillation of a solution that is 0.9 mole, uh, mole fraction in A. 5.75.9. Okay. You can be sure that your axis will be labeled much better, so you don't have to do that sort of guesswork. So what we're going to do now is heat it. And if you like, um, I'm going to move this over a wee bit to give me some room. And so you have, say, your flask. Mole fraction of A is 0 0.9. I said earlier 0 0.9 molar, that's not right, it's just 0 0.9, so it's a fraction. And that is what's in here as the liquid. And we'll put on our fractionating column and then hook up our condenser. And that will lead down to my collection flask.
which currently is empty. Water in, water out, and recirculating. Okay. So I heat it up and I want to show direction. A 0.9 mole fraction solution. And when I get to this temperature, I have the first drop of vapor appearing, condensed as now a drop of liquid. The composition of that drop, I make a tie line to the vapor line. This is the vapor line. This is the liquid line. And if I condense that drop and I have a way of measuring its composition, that composition will be this. So you see that I am moving towards the lower boiling point liquid. Now if I take that and I put it, remember this is in theory, I take this and now I use it as the boiling flask and heat it up. I quite literally take it and heat it up and at this point I have arrived at that temperature where I have now the next fraction of vapor and when I collect that vapor and it condenses its composition, go to the vapor line, drop down your perpendicular and now my next fraction is that much richer in the lower boiling point liquid B. Okay, that's my next fraction. It's sort of, um, you may have seen these. They kind of like a collection of bulbs like that and they rotate. So there's my first fraction. Now I'll use, there's my second fraction drop. Then I'm going to roll that one into place. And um, exchange, put that drop of vapor there. Condensed vapor is now my new liquid. Heat it up. Its composition of vapor at that temperature is this. Do it again. Do it again. And I'm there. So how many fractional distillation steps in theory would I need? One, two, three, four, five, five. In theory. In theory, I would need five. So you want to add your little arrows to demonstrate that you are moving in that way along the phase diagram, creating fractions in theory, doing it five times, and you essentially have isolated the lower boiling point. You don't isolate the higher, you isolate the lower boiling point liquid. Okay, um, that's, we're at nine minutes. Let's flip this. And for this, for the comparison, let's do a real solution. Doesn't really show ideal behavior, but rather, no, let's use the same configuration. That's A. This is the boiling point of A. And this is the boiling point of B. And instead of it being ideal, 
I could do a minimum, but we, we have a minimum on the last one. Let me this time do a maximum. That one's tricky. I'm going to make sure it's actually higher than that if it's a maximum. My drawing's not very good, so be careful of that. So in this case, if I wanted to do a distillation on the composition here, I would heat it up. And at this temperature, I get the first drop of vapor because this is liquid vapor. And inside these lobes are liquid plus vapor. Um, in there and in here. So again, I start with this, I heat it up, and the vapor has this composition, and I heat it up, and the vapor has this composition, so one more. So I have one, two, three. It needs three fractional distillations to isolate the lower boiling point liquid of these two. And then this would be the lower boiling point of these two. And it's really, really, it, it's not well drawn. I'm sorry. Um, I would really struggle to show you a distillation there because it would be going straight across. So it really should be like that. That's better. And then I would see the starting there. I would go up, over, down, up, over. Sorry, you can't see a thing. I'm going to go up, over, down, up, over, down, and up, over. That's it. So one, two, three on this side as well. And this is the lower boiling point liquid of these two. So the product of the distillation is always to isolate the lower boiling point liquid. Whether it's a minimum boiling point azeotrope that you're looking at or a maximum boiling point azeotrope. Or, um, ideal.